are you? I'm good, thank you very Congratulations. much. Congratulations. And tell us about the character of Jensen. Jensen. William Jensen is uh, he's a small town kid from Nebraska. Uh -huh. He gets these ideas of going to uh, going to war. You know, I think he has these rose tinted ideas of going and being a hero and coming back to a hero's welcome. And what happens uh, is he. You know, he heads off to war, has his first experience of battle, and just it, it breaks him. And he realizes that it's, you know, it's the real deal. And so, uh, so what happens is the rest of the Flyboys, you know, kind of gather around. And it's that community vibe where if you don't do it in community, you're kind of stuffed. And uh, I think William, you know, Jensen realizes that he needs his other guys. He can't do, he can't be the lone, lone hero. Now, do you think today's audience is going to embrace this film? I mean, it's been over 30 years since they've made a World War I aviation movie. Yeah. yeah. It's been a long time. Well, you know, one of the things I think that Dean Devlin and, and Tony Bill worked incredibly hard on was making special effects that were relevant, even with the old machines. And, I mean... I don't know if you've seen the movie, but some of the special effects in it are absolutely mind-boggling. Well, Even though it's old awesome. planes, you know. Yeah, I, and I'm sure it must be a lot of computer animation. Yeah. So there must have been a lot of blue screens. So that's always difficult yeah, to work. It's difficult. Yeah, well, actually, it was fun because they uh, they took us up in a real plane before we did the blue screen. Oh, really? So they gave us a taste of what it was like to do loop-to-loop -loop and to do a negative G roll and to do knife-edge turns, you know, at 3,000, 4,000 feet. And so when we're in the blue screen, when we're you know we're in front of that screen with nothing going on, you could you could think in your head. Here's where I was sick. Here's where my eyes were coming out of my head. This is, you know, and really kind of engage on that level because it had actually happened to us. So they were. And, and, and we hate to give away the movie secrets, but I mean, you're in a studio, comfortable, warm. You've got pads down well, below. Well, I don't know about, but yeah. oh, it wasn't. <laughs> well, they know wooden seats and uh, no, no, it was, it was. Uh, it was actually springtime in London, and it was freezing cold. It was freezing cold in England. So we, uh, a lot of the stuff you can see us in, it, we're supposed to be like, you know, summertime, and we're actually out there freezing our butts off. We had, you know, pockets full of those warming pads, and we had long underwear on, and we full French uniforms going. <laughs> but the uh, definitely the flying scenes were, uh, you know, in a, in a warm studio. That's the question. Um, how did you feel uh, when you started the movie uh, versus at the end of the movie? because of the fact that we are at war right now. Was there any kind of, um, I, you know, could you identify with what we're going through? I think that, um, I think that war has changed so dramatically through the years. I think what these guys related to was something very, you know, it was something very primal in them. They wanted to be a part of something that their country was. Hi, how are you? <laughs> this, is the, this is the director's daughter. How are you? <laughs> and, um, you know, at the time, I think, you know, these guys were going over there to say, you know, to do something. They're, you know, all, all the characters are kind of live these lives where they don't really have a purpose. And to go to war was a purpose. And then, you know, over the years, war has changed. And then we're not getting in biplanes and seeing each other 20 feet through the air. with it. You know, it's, it's all push-button smart war now. So. And they didn't have shoots back then, really. No, they didn't. No, you got a hammer and a pistol in case something So if on. you fell out of the plane, that's it. Yeah, you got to, you know, you got to aim for hay. You know, that's it. That's it. What do you, yeah. you, you flap your arms that's and nice. you... <laughs> that's great, man. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Nice to meet you.